This is McKenna. Hi. I'm Shay Taylor. What's up? Oh, most embarrassing moment in boot camp. You go first. Um, it wasn't really that embarrassing, but so rhabdomyolysis. Rhabdo is like something they talk about a lot. It's like a muscle, like basically if you overexert, your muscles start to break down um, and your liver starts processing your muscle tissue and it's really not good. You start peeing blood and you have to go to the hospital. So yeah. They have never talked about rhabdo? Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Or I wasn't like paying attention. Like <laughs> anyway, um, it was during we were PTing and PT is like an hour. I think it's like four days a week. It, it's a joke. It's like you do one, two, three. Yeah, you like rock on your heels and toes and it's you do push-ups and sit-ups and it's it's a joke. Like you're you're probably gonna get out of shape if you're like in really good shape. Yes, if you are like out of shape. Get enough in shape that you can do the PRT like two times in a row and yeah. be fine. But if you're like a bodybuilder or something or like CrossFit, you're going to lose all of it in boot camp. You like, are. You just so are. Be prepared for that. Um, but don't like not work out. Just make sure you could do like the PRT two times in a row or yeah. like pass it with flying colors and you should be fine PT wise. Yes, that's like, a good point. Before you show up to boot camp, make sure that you are running a mile and a half within the given time that you're supposed to, which you can find all that online. Mm -hmm. You're doing your push-ups, your sit-ups, and now planks. So people show up to boot camp thinking that they're gonna, like, boot camp's gonna get them in shape. No, you have to be in shape before you go. Oh, yeah, oh my god. Most embarrassing moment, we were PTing, and um, my chief was like saying, he started to go off like on a soapbox about, he's like, what's that one thing that R word, that, that thing that you get, that muscle condition. And I was in the way back and I couldn't help myself. I was like, rhabdomyolysis. And he's like, who said that? He like popped up. He's like, who said that? And I'm like, I did. He's like, oh, okay, professor. <laughs> like, and everyone just started dying laughing and the whole rest of the time they called me professor. That's funny. Boot camp. Yeah, I was like, I shouldn't have opened my big mouth. Yeah, now you got like a target and they're like, oh, where's the professor? Like, Yeah, because he, my chief was just the whole time, he was like, oh, you gonna, you gonna outshine me there, couch? Professor? Like, yeah. you got something to say about that? I'm like, oh my gosh, this is not what I wanted. Yeah, do not do anything like that. If you can't handle yeah. having a target on your back, no. like, shut up. Just shut yeah, up. Yeah, because if you, like, or if you have like a funny, easy name, like, you're already screwed because they're gonna sit there and be like, oh, we need someone to go do this crappy job. And they're like, oh, where's so-and-so? And, -so? and yeah. you're like, oh my gosh, that's me. First. So yeah, yeah. watch your tongue and yep. if you want to stay on the radar, do not stand out because they will be after you. Just honestly have no personality. <laughs> um, I, you'll have those moments in boot camp that you look back and you're like, wow, this sucks. But you know what? It's not that bad. Yeah, after so long, you, like, get into a rhythm and you're like, oh, I know what to expect this day or I know what to expect later. My biggest advice for when you're first starting out is just look forward to mealtimes. Be like, yeah. I can make it until breakfast. Yep. Eat your breakfast, boom. I can make it until lunch. Yes. Eat your lunch, boom. Like, that's, like, the first, only thing that kept me going until you're a couple weeks in and you get your, like, little routine and you know what to expect. Yeah. And then you do do some, like, fun stuff. Yeah, like firefighting. I had so much fun. You get to Damn. put out fires. What else? You swim. Oh, my favorite day was when we did all the swimming. We got to jump off like a 10 foot dive, like high dive. And I'm, I was a swimmer growing up, so that was like my bread and butter. Um, but oh my gosh. Boot camp does like, they'll teach you how to swim, but like for your own sake, go learn how to swim. Oh my gosh, yes. If I you're can, joining the Navy. I can believe the amount of people that didn't know how to swim. Why? It was like, like, why would you join the Navy where you go on ships if you've never... I get people, like, were low income and, like, they just were never taught. But, man, go get some lessons. Or some people are just like, I never grew up around a pool. I never went to, like, a pool or something. Yeah. You don't need to be Michael Phelps. But no. be able to comfortably swim there and back, like, a pool length. Yeah. Without, like, touching the wall. And you'll be fine. You won't be held back. Yeah. If you are, like, held back, I think you go to swim, what, like every day for yeah. like a week or something Which, and then you like pass. Swim, we have to march everywhere and you have to like run if on days that it's not bad weather. Mm, yeah. So the swimming pool is like a mile away from where you stay in your barracks. So think about this, like you're gonna have to be walking outside with cold wet hair if it's the wet winter season. Every mm -hmm. single day, like walking. And I got, 
Your boots. Oh my god. I can't even talk about the boots that tore my feet up. I think I'm gonna talk about how much they smell. I was like, my no! so stinky. My okay, so people think that like, you can get out of boot camp really easily if you go to um, mental health and you say that you're suicidal. Like, I'm not deterring anyone by any means. If they're having those thoughts, please go see a professional. But that is not your fastest way out of boot camp. If you, you show up on day one and you're like, you know your purpose and you know your why, stick to that. Write down on a piece of paper your why and, and put it in your pocket and take it with you. Because there's going to be some times you're just going to be like, I want to quit. I remember one night I was... It was after taps, which is when they like you go to bed and the RDCs kind of leave you alone to go to sleep. And there was one girl that was up and she was like just shining her boots. And I got up and she was a friend of mine. And I was like, I think I'm gonna quit. Like I can't do this. I'm so tired. I don't even know who I am anymore. Like, and you're gonna have those low points. But she just looked at me and she's like, Remember your why, man. Like, remember why you showed up and why you're doing this. This is only eight weeks of your life. And the fastest way through boot camp is to do boot camp. Wean yourself off caffeine before you go, because there's Ooh. no coffee. Oh, oh, I forgot. There's no coffee. Ooh. Um, there's tea sometimes. I would get tea like y you get sick all the time. I was sick for six weeks. You're yeah, just be sick. prepared to get a cold the day you show up, and yeah. it's not gone until like a week after you leave. Thing too, periods in boot camp. Oh yeah. So don't be afraid. It's normal, right? Hey, like. If you have like a problem or a girl thing going on, literally all you have to do, and if it's a, a dude RDC, you're just like, hey, I have a girl thing going on. They're like, go, just go. Like, yeah, even the women RDCs, because the last thing they want to do is see you like have a mental breakdown about like going to the bathroom. So just be like, I have female problems. May I please be excused? And yeah, like, go, go. Yeah. Um, so in your backpacks, you're allowed to carry like all your female products too. Yeah. So if you're like, out of like your normal building like you you have your stuff with you so yeah it's, that's don't worry about it it's like it, there's nothing weird so that's periods are pretty easy yeah. um, and you're given white granny panty underwear oh my when you're God. there and literally you're gonna stain it up and no! all your friends are gonna stain it up i threw my under like all my underwear yeah, away yeah you start out with what like 20 pair yeah you're down to like three by yeah. the time you're done but that being said like be a sister if some girl's having a problem or like her underwear is like all stained up and you're passing out during laundry time. Just like be a sister yeah. and just be cool about it. And that's one thing that they teach you is how to be cohesive as a team and how to like be a team player because you're no longer an individual. Right. And and that's kind of like the military mindset and that that's what has made us work as a military. Like you have to come together as one force because it's like, it's like us against them, like us against they're adversaries and when we go to war and like you have to have that that team set that team player mindset so just yeah i think the biggest thing is like you said stay out of the drama just don't yeah, don't talk trash it's just unnecessary just like be quiet like golden rule number one if you have nothing nice to say don't say anything at all don't say anything. uh oh you want to go get that one second your recruiter is going to scare you. My recruiter had three rules. It was don't tell on yourself, don't go to medical, and don't tell on yourself. And basically, that, that second rule, don't go to medical, I went to medical three times because I was so sick. Mm -hmm. And they gave me 24-hour, like, sick in quarters, SIQ chit. Um, basically, I could sleep all day. I, I had, like, this insane virus. Not Corona, this is way before then. No, yeah. <laughs> um, but I basically I had to get antibiotics to clear it up because that is it's just like a cesspool. It's like everyone and their germs are all together and yeah. It's everyone from the states and then some. So like yeah. all getting together, you've no sleep, no. you're all brushing naked bodies during the shower. Like <laughs> yeah. you're gonna get sick and it's gonna be awful. I mean, okay, it's eight weeks of your life, it's gonna suck. Embrace the suck is a number one thing that the military teaches yes. you and tells you. Embrace the suck. You're going to learn how to operate on no sleep. You're going to have some really down moments. But at the end of the day, we're all human. Your RDCs are human. They know that you're struggling. They know what boot camp is like. They've been through it. If you're struggling, like, lean on the other people next to you. Mm -hmm. I got really close to my rockmate, and she was so scared because she kept failing her sit-ups. 
And so her and I, at night, we would just do sit-ups together every single night. I was like, you're not failing, dude, come on. Like, I know you're down right now and I know you failed and there's a lot of pressure on you because she was gonna get kicked out if she didn't pass. Mm. She passed by one the next okay. day. Yeah, but like seriously, help your shipmate out um, and just try to have a good attitude. I th My saving grace during boot camp, we went during the winter. Mm -hmm. They give you neck gaiters, so you have to have your whole face covered. So when we were marching outside, like sometimes people would slip or like one of the dudes would fart while we're like standing oh, there gosh. and I would just start giggling and they couldn't see my face. So I was like, I was so blessed to have that on my face. I would just <laughs> sit there and I would smile under my, my neck gaiter. Um, we would march outside and there would be icicles growing on my, on my eyelashes. No way. Uh -huh, That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> icicles. Like you would, it's so freezing cold that icicles would grow on your, your eyebrows. That and your eyelashes. Hilarious. I remember marching and like my friend, I look next to me and he's like marching like this. <laughs> he can't see anything because he had the longest eyelashes and I just started cracking up. Oh, that's funny. So anyway, and enjoy the moments that it's funny. Um, embrace the suck. Know that it's going to end. You get three, I think three or four times you get to call back home. And yeah, I think we got one or two. It that's dependent too, but like look forward to those days. Yeah. Look forward to the events. Like you do some cool stuff up. Just know that it's gonna suck. Get there. Do what you're told. Um, lift and encourage others around you and then before you know it, it's gonna be graduation. And yeah, it really does go by so fast. It really does. Bring money for when you go to the shop. Yeah, bring cash. I brought like forty dollars cash, so that's, yeah, definitely bring cash. I just wanna make sure you put that in there. Yeah. But, and then, I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna talk about. Yeah, I don't have That was awesome. To say. So, anyway, if you enjoyed this, please push it out to other people or like give it to anybody that wants to know more about Navy Boot Camp. Um, like, subscribe, all the things, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. OPSEC. Um, what, what is another major thing and how do we want to end this? <sighs> I'm not good on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, we're going to get into our, our mode. So, okay. hi YouTube. Um, this is, do you want, what do you want me to be called? McKenna. McKenna's fine. <laughs>